Hello everyone, I am Robert J. N. Ramos. I am currently the research fellow one of the Hapswatch project. Have you ever wondered how researchers isolate microscopic organisms like phytoplankton and microalgae from the ocean, including those harmful algal bloom species? Today, I will demonstrate how to do it using the single cell isolation technique. So, why do we have to do the isolation? Is it necessary? Will this be beneficial to the project? And the answer is a big yes. One of the project goals is to identify all the phytoplankton and microalgae from the ocean surrounding the Philippines, especially the toxic ones. So, we will be able to catalog them and to become guide for other researchers for further studies. To prepare for the isolation, here are the needed materials and equipment. First, stir gloves. Of course, we must use stir gloves to avoid direct contact with the samples and possible contamination. Now that we are ready to handle the samples, that's the next thing we need. The microalgal samples collected from the field. These samples contain thousands of millions of individual cells, hence, we need to isolate them one by one. Since these samples are microscopic, we need microscope, the apparatus used to provide a magnified view of organisms. The choice is yours if you want to use light microscope or an inverted microscope. The only difference between the two is the position of the objectives. If the objectives are positioned below the stage, like an inverted microscope, you will have a more expansive space for your hands to work on, unlike in the light microscope, where the objectives are placed above the stage. But still, either of the two can be used depending on the availability. Next are the glass slides. One is for the drop of the samples and the other one is for the washing of cell. That's why we also need filtered seawater for washing. Another is pipetor and tips. We use this to get samples. Remember, we must change the tips every use to avoid cross-contamination. 96 well plate. Since this is a single cell isolation, there is no need for us to input samples in the larger vessels right away. That's why we need to use the 96 well plate to ensure that each hole has only a single cell. Also through this, monitoring the sample will be much easier. Another one is F2 medium. These are the needed nutrients for the cell to grow as we conduct the culture process. But for a more in-depth guide on how to do this, wait for our next video tutorial. Next is an alcohol lamp. We will use this together with the glass pasture pipette to make our own micro pipette later. Also, silicon dropper bulb and silicon tubing are needed in micro pipetting. We will use the silicon dropper bulb attached to the glass pasture pipette if you will be using a hand micro pipette. On the other hand, silicon tubing if you prefer to use a mouth micro pipette. Next are the wash bottle and laboratory wipes. Always remember to wash the slide every time we change our samples using the wash bottle and dry it using the laboratory wipes. Lastly, the cell culture plus. We will use this if the culture sample grows well and needs more space and greater volume. Now, we are ready to start the process of single cell isolation. First, I will demonstrate how to make your own micropipette using the glass pasture pipette. Make the micropipette by heating and pulling one side end of the glass pasture pipette using forceps. We need to heat the glass pasture pipette to elongate it and make it thinner to ensure that we will get just one cell at a time. We will not be able to isolate a single cell if we use a bigger size. After that, transfer F2 medium to a 96 well plate until it's about 3 fourths full. Then put the cover back until further use. Always remember to cover the plate to avoid contamination. Take a small amount of microalgal sample and place into the glass light. Also, prepare a small amount of filtered seawater on the other glass light for washing of isolate. F2 medium is not necessary at this stage, so the cell will not be overwhelmed by the nutrients concentration. Place the glass light with the sample under the microscope. Using the micropipette, Pick up a single cell, then transfer it to the drops of filtered seawater for washing. If you are confident that you have only one cell in a drop, transfer it to the prepared well plate with F2 medium. After picking all possible isolate, 
incubate the plate for several days under the conditions optimal for the growth of isolated strain. The growth rate of each species is different, so continuous monitoring is needed. When the microalgae have doubled in biomass, transfer the culture to a vessel with a higher volume and incubate the culture under the same conditions. That's it! Hopefully, you learned something from this tutorial video and it helped you with the successful conduct of your isolation culture process. Again, I am Jay Ramos, Research Fellow 1 of the Hubswatch Project. Stay tuned for our next tutorial videos.